He's none too happy. It seems it's just one gigantic rock. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Alrighty, we're going to head up to a really short hike today, uh, Saquon Peak. So, let's get cracking. at the quasi trailhead kind of ecological preserve so I obviously don't want you driving on it not that that would be easy given the erosion they've got here around this granite okay yeah it would be a little difficult here for mountain bikes um, if you have a pack on for sure. <laughs> the uh, downhill would sure be interesting. Climb here on the road. It seems it's just one gigantic rock. We have a little friend out here. Quite a startle here. He's none too happy. Definitely not happy to see me. But uh, anyway, yeah, gave me a plenty of warning. Yeah, another solid rock here. It's amazing. Reminds me of El Cajon Mountain. A lot of that is just your trail is solid rock. Um, first little part's done. Now it looks like an attack on the, all the way up to the summit there. Pretty good climb. Um, maybe this is two miles each way. I thought it was two miles round trip, but anyway, we'll see. It's a uh, noon sun's popped out it's not too bad we have a slight breeze from the ocean so that's keeping it cool er. <laughs> yeah, I gotta lay, I mean, we're at the, at the summit definitely in the activation zone the uh, tippy tops up there I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna set up I definitely don't want to get into an area where I'm not able to see snakes um, I learned the Morse code language I'm thinking maybe I should learn uh, parcel tongue. Might be a little bit more uh, useful, certainly out here on hot days. Anyway, I'm gonna look for a place to set up that's uh, clear of my uh, Slytherin friends and uh, send some cool waves into the atmosphere. Oh. Okay, got my K6 ARK spider thread antenna. I think I'll set up right over there. Um, and uh, then we'll get cracking. Spilling a little bit of blood. Mission accomplished. Don't ask me how I did that. No idea plants and brush and everything else in here poking at me so yeah totally cool all right not
it. Anyway, solid activation. Um, I can't complain too much. I was able to uh, pull out uh, ZL1 BYZ or uh, B, uh, ZL1 BYZ um, out of New Zealand on 17 meters. So that was the first for me on 17 meters. I don't typically work it and just do 20 and 40 and uh, jump around a side band. I tried side band, got a couple of uh, contacts there. Um, I want to try to remember to use side band every time I'm up here on the mountain. Just uh, it's it's fun. So um, I do a lot of CW for those of you that do chase me, mainly because I just need to practice. I need to practice really really bad. Um, so I kind of expend all my energy on that trying to get good at it. Oops. Hopefully you're not looking in the sun. So anyway, that's why. But I'll definitely try to run some uh, more HT uh, two meter and uh, sideband as well. Um, there's a what is it Loveland Reservoir? Loveland Reservoir over there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's kind of a ways. Uh, the moisture's kind of backed up into this valley here. It's burned off about as good as it's going to get, and it's probably going to move back in pretty quick. It was trying actually to build back up a little while ago, but. Um, some good thunderstorms over there in the mountains. Looks like they're starting to uh, dissipate. But um, I'm going to head on down and uh, keep an eye out for snakes. All right, back at the rig. Um, easy hike. Uh, definitely not a mountain bike trail, though. It's a it's a road, but it's really torn up horribly. But uh, anyway. Yeah, I logged a bunch of contacts um, and uh, got New Zealand. Uh, did a little work on the uh, the HT. Got my um, two meter, my little handy talkie out. Made some contacts with that. So yeah, all in all, really good. So let's get back to the ranch. Seventy three guys. <laughs>